Hi, welcome to the Love Nest Homeschool. Today I want to give you some tips uh, to know in order for you to homeschool your child. Uh, first tip I want to give you is to know your state laws. What does your state require in order for you to start home, homeschooling your kid? One of the things that they might require you is for you to file an intent to homeschool. This is a form stating that you're willing to homeschool your kid. Something else they might require is for you to keep records or uh, keep uh, or maintain uh, a portfolio. Things that you have done with your kid during that homeschool period. They might ask you as well to evaluate your child, either by a teacher or a school district personal. Something that I want to suggest you is to know your schedule. Uh, you need to know your schedule. Uh, are you do you have hours that allows you for you to homeschool your kid? Does your employer is willing to adjust your schedule in order for you to homeschool? Uh, these are things that you want to know in order uh, for you to homeschool your child. Something that I want to let you know as well is start doing a research on curriculums. Think about what curriculums you want to use for your kid. What will uh, your kid benefit from? As well, start thinking on what kind of homeschool you want to create for your child. Is it eclectic, a uh, classic? What type of homeschool you want to create for your kid? I want to suggest you as well to find a local homeschool group. You need a homeschool group to support you and encourage you as well to bring activities for your kid and uh, so he can be able to socialize with other kids. Uh, you need that encouragement. There are going to be uh, rough days uh, just like everything else in life. So you need that support and that encouragement. You want to know that it is legal to homeschool in all 50 states. Yes it is and you can homeschool at any time. Uh, I suggest you to start during the summer just because the transition will go more uh, more smoothly. But you can start uh, homeschooling at any time. Have a budget. There are free curriculums and inexpensive curriculums for you to to have. Uh, there, there's uh, websites just like Easy PC, The Good and the Beautiful, and other websites for you to uh, utilize to teach your kid but there are going to be as well uh, curriculums that are going to be pretty expensive so you will want to have a budget uh, for those and I think the the last tip and best tip I can give you is please do not try to replicate public school at home the beauty of homeschool is that you can create homeschool anywhere you go at the museum, at the park, make it interesting for your child. Make it fun. It can be educational and fun at the same time. So I hope you enjoyed these tips. I hope you have a beautiful day and please if you like this video click like and hit subscribe. We will see you then. Thanks for watching.